There's a noise no one ever likes to hear on their bicycle. But there's a way to fix that. Let's step inside the garage and I'll show you how. This customer has gotten some contamination between their brake rotor and their brake pads. What that does is prevent the brake pads from grabbing onto the rotor themselves. They more slide across this slippery film that's now on the rotors and create that very annoying noise instead of actually slowing the bike down properly. First things first, we're gonna get this wheel off of here. We're gonna get the brake pads out. We're gonna clean everything. We're going to need some brake cleaner. I'm also going to need a lock ring removal tool to pull the disc off the wheel to sand both front and back. I'm going to need some fine grit sandpaper. I'm going to need my butane torch. For these brakes in particular, I'm going to need a small flathead screwdriver to remove the brake pads. I'm going to need a sink with some running water. And last but certainly not least, we're going to need our heads. We're going to need to think through this process. Always make sure to put bolts and things back where they go while you're working on the bike. It just makes them so they're harder to forget about. First things first, we're gonna try and remove the contamination on this rotor. We're gonna use some fine grit sandpaper and try to recreate the machine finish that it came out of the factory with. It's gonna remove a tiny bit of material that's been impregnated with whatever has contaminated this rotor. It is possible to take the rotor off the wheel and sand it on the bench. That's one way to do it. But there's a better way a faster way. And time? Well, time is money. We're going to actually sand this rotor while it's on the bike and almost doing a better job, a more even thorough job. Take just a simple strip of your sandpaper, like so. You're actually going to pinch the rotor between the sandpaper and then butt your hand right up against the caliper to hold it still. Then, once you're done sanding down your rotor, you're gonna to wanna to take this nice clean paper towel you have, load it up with brake cleaner, do the same thing you did with the sandpaper to remove all those nasty contaminants, blah. Now we're going to do personally my favorite part. We get to burn the rotors. Essentially what you're looking for is to burn any potential contaminants off of the rotor. And when you're doing this, you can actually watch the humidity and potentially any fluids burn off when you're running around the rotor. All right, there we go. Next up, we're gonna make our best attempt at cleaning these brake pads. An important step to remember when sanding brake pads is that you want to try and keep the brake pad as square and parallel to the sandpaper as possible. So you create a nice square surface on the bottom of the red. I can't guarantee 100% that it's going to work. A lot of the times you have to scrap the brake pads and start over with fresh new brake pads. Brake pads are porous, so it's likely that whatever contamination has got on them has gone deeper than just the surface. But these brake pads are almost brand new. They're only a couple weeks old. So I'm gonna take it a step further. I'm going to soak these brake pads in brake cleaner to try and dislodge whatever contaminants are inside of it. Then we're gonna take the brake pads, we're going to put them in the sink under running water, we're gonna rub them against themselves so the brake pads have a nice parallel surface between the two of them. What that also does is further remove any contamination. And the final step in the sequence is going to be dry the brake pads off without possibly contaminating them again. Okay, rotor's clean, pads are clean, everything's dry, ready to put back together, re-bed in the pads, and see if it worked. All right, let's see what we got here. So far, no squeaking. Oh, these work great now. No more squeaking. And that's what I would call a success. No more squeaking in the brakes. They have really good bite. They're working great. Doesn't always work out that way, but today it did. You. We'll see you for the next video.